Hi everyone, I've had the MPC 500 for a while now, but it just occurred to me yesterday that it's not only great for making beats, but that it's also a really powerful MIDI sequencer. So in this tutorial video, I want to show you how to set up the MPC 500 to control external gear via MIDI. My goal here is to have the MPC 500 play some beats while also sequencing an external synthesizer, which will play a melody. I've got a MIDI keyboard connected to the MPC's MIDI input and an external synthesizer connected to the MPC's MIDI output. Like this, I can play a melody on the keyboard, which is recorded by the MPC and sent onwards to the synthesizer, where it's played. First off, we have to set the devices to the correct MIDI channel so that they can communicate with each other. For this demonstration, I chose MIDI channel 1. To set the MPC's receiving MIDI channel, you have to enter the MIDI sync menu by pressing the mode key and then pad 7. The first menu entry should read receive channel, which can be set to all or 1 to 16. I'll set it to channel 1. Then I go to the next menu item called soft through and set it to as track. Soft through means that MIDI data going into the MPC is also passed out of it immediately. So when I play the keyboard, the MIDI data goes through the MPC and into the synth so I can hear what I'm playing. If I set the soft through setting to off, the data from the keyboard would only reach the MPC and not the synth as well immediately. The as track setting lets me set this behavior individually for each track, whereas the on setting will just always route the data through the MPC and into the external gear. All right, time to set up our tracks. I've loaded a new program with some drum samples into the MPC. Let's press the track button and choose track A1 for our MIDI data and go into the parameter menu by pressing the power arms button. We don't want the pads or the keyboard to play the MPC's drum samples on this track, so we set program assign to off. Next, we go to the MIDI channel menu item and set it to channel 1, which is also the channel my synth is listening on. So like this, track A1 will send MIDI data out of the MPC to my synth on channel 1. Our last step now is to set the track type menu item to MIDI because we want the track to contain MIDI data and not MPC drums. To record some beats, let's set up track A2 to a regular MPC drum track. This should be set up by default. If not, assign a program to the track, set its MIDI channel to off and set its track type to drum. Now if we switch to track A1, the keyboard and the pads play the external synth through the MPC. And if we switch to track A2, the keyboard and the pads play the MPC's drum samples. Alright, so let's record some beats on track A2. And now let's switch to track A1 and record some MIDI data via the keyboard. As you can see, it's really simple and quick to record sequences once your tracks are set up correctly. Of course, you can still use the track mute and solo functions like usual, and of course, you can also set up complete songs using several different sequences containing MIDI and drum tracks. And of course, you can control more than one external instrument by assigning different MIDI channels to the devices. 
If you have any questions or comments, please write them below this video or send me a message. Thanks for watching and see you next time.